If you are just tuning in this morning, the longest serving inmate on Idaho's death row is scheduled to be put to death this morning. Thomas Creech will be executed at 10 a.m. That's the plan for now. Unless the Supreme Court steps in, there's a very slim possibility of that, and we are watching that for you to wait and hear from the Supreme Court. But right now, Hector is live outside of the prison in South Ada County with more about the history of the death penalty here in Idaho. Hector, tell us about it. Well, Idaho is one of 21 states that uh, has capital punishment, which is legal. The rest either don't have it or have it on pause. Idaho is set to execute its 30th 30th person this morning, Thomas Creech. It's Idaho's first execution in more than 10 years. But how did we get here? According to the Death Penalty Information Center, a Washington based nonprofit that provides data and analysis about capital punishment across the country, said the death penalty has been around in Idaho since before Idaho became a state. In 1864, a year after Idaho became a territory, Idaho established the death penalty and the first territorial execution occurred that same year. But Idaho wouldn't become a state until 1890. Before statehood, executions were carried out on a county level and were often public events. In the early 1900s, Idaho moved executions to Idaho State Prison. Idaho's last hanging execution was in 1957, the first execution by lethal injection took place in 1994 to an inmate named Keith Wells. Before Wells' execution, the U.S. Supreme Court struck down all death penalties in 1972, but Idaho reinstated the death penalty a year later. Idaho's most recent executions were Paul Rhodes in 2011 and Richard Levitt in 2012. Levitt's execution was the first time witnesses were allowed to watch the entire lethal injection process after the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals ruled the Associated Press and 16 other news organizations should be allowed full viewing access to Idaho's executions. Before, Idaho only allowed witnesses to watch executions after the IVs were put into the inmate's arm. In 2019, Idaho ran out of drugs for lethal injection when pharmaceutical companies refused to sell drugs to states who would use the medicine for executions. So last year, Governor Brad Little signed a bill allowing execution by firing squad amidst a national shortage of lethal injection drugs. The firing squad, which is also legal in four other states, would only be used if the states cannot get the drugs needed for a lethal injection. Thomas Creech will be executed using lethal injection. And Idaho currently has eight people on death row, including Thomas Creech. Chad Daybell is another death penalty case. He's the husband of Lori Vallow, and he is charged with three counts of first-degree murder in the deaths of Tylee Ryan, J.J. Vallow, and his late wife, Tammy Daybell. The state also announced that they plan to seek the death penalty for, Koberg, for Brian Koberger, the man accused of killing four University of Idaho students back in November of 2022. And as behind me, we are expecting to see a lot more protesters in here for today for the execution of Thomas Creech, protesting against the death penalty. We will bring in Justin Cor to talk more about what we can expect later on this morning and what more we can hear uh, later on uh, throughout the show. Yeah, in just about 20 minutes or so, we're going to hear from our own Brenda Rodriguez, who will be a media witness to the execution. There will be four media witnesses today. We're going to hear about what she's expecting, how she's feeling right now this morning, and, and the importance of media being uh, the eyes and ears of the public inside right next to that execution chamber this morning. Uh, we've been seeing cars, a lot of staff coming into the prison this morning. They have a pretty big staff, but it seems like even a lot more this morning. Obviously, they have a lot going on, a very somber task here this morning. We're also expecting protesters eventually right here behind us. None have shown up yet, but we're expecting those later this morning. Yeah, we're also expecting to have media make their way in at 7.30. We are also going to be breaking into, into programming later on into the show. After the, the press conference happens, we will have that on air and online at ktvb.com. So we'll send it back to Maggie in studio. All right. Thank you, Hector. Thank you, Justin. Currently eight people on death row after today. If the execution takes place, we'll have seven people on death row. And then we have two possible death row cases being possibly tried this year. We know Chad Daybell will face trial this year and Brian Koberger, the state is also asking for the death penalty for him. So we're going to be watching that. We're also watching if the Supreme Court is going to step in here at the last minute. There is a slim possibility of that.